Hey, what's up, guys? This is and Showtime with MZ back with another iOS 16 new features and changes video. And finally, this is the time when we will be actually discussing all the new settings changes in this section of the iOS 16 new features and changes. We have other parts as well in which we discussed these first um, seven or eight applications, or even more actually, like a lot of applications until settings so you can watch them in the cards that will be appearing during the video uh, in the right corner or the left corner which one it is I don't remember but yeah in this video we'll be reviewing settings all new settings in the iOS 16 so make sure to subscribe down below and also click like and here we go starting with golf with the Wi-Fi section so if we go into here and if we are gonna tap on the information icon we actually have a new option of seeing the password of uh, the Wi-Fi network to which we are currently connected so if you're gonna tap on it uh, it will use your face ID to see the password and it's a very cool thing that you can also copy it and just immediately share it or send it to a person who just asked you the Wi-Fi password and they can paste it and it's just much easier this way so we now can see password of the Wi-Fi network. Also we have a completely new edit button over here as you can see and if you tap on it it asks you the face ID and you can see all the different um, uh, options that you can get with the known networks that this iPhone Phone has already been connected to you can of course uh, delete some of them as well as uh, you can of course tap the information icon of each and every single one of them and you can see the password and just many many other things so that's a very cool new detail as well now moving on with uh, the Bluetooth uh, section of the settings and as you can see here we also have some new features and changes so starting off with information icon once again so if we're gonna tap on uh, information icon next to something you can actually see the new feature or new but or button or option that says show in find my this is completely new thing that we didn't have previously with uh, the iOS 15 also another thing is that if you go to the information icon with iOS 15 uh, you could see the version and if you would tap on the version you could also see the case which is 191 but here with the iOS 16 it's actually a little bit different so you actually go into it's a separate section and you can see both at the same time. Moving on with the mobile data and we are gonna go in here and you're gonna go down to the mobile data options and then scroll all the way down until you see voice and data as you can see right over here we now have actually a new feature of Vo LTE using Vo LTE can improve voice quality that's what it says this is a new section in iOS 16 also uh, if we're gonna go out of here into the mobile data section we can actually have a new uh, option as well which says add is the same so as you can see this is the new option here. I don't know if you can really see it yet. Now you can. So this is the new option with this iOS 16 of the mobile data. Now, next up on the list, we have notifications. And if you're going to go here, you can actually see that there is a different view rather than what we had previously with the iOS 15. So with this iOS 15, this is iOS 16. As you can see, as I already mentioned in one of the previous, one of the first iOS 16 videos, notifications are displayed now in different ways. So they can be stacked at the very bottom of the screen. They can count at the bottom of the screen as well. And at least just as we had with the iOS 15. So this is a new view of display app. Also, in announced notifications, if we're gonna go in here, now I actually don't have CarPlay option that we had previously with the iOS uh, 15. I don't know why is that, but well, here we had a CarPlay, now we don't have this feature anymore. We're going with the sounds and haptics, and here actually there are more features that are gone uh, that were in the iOS 15 rather than added to the iOS 16. So first of all, with the iOS 15 we had vibrate section as you can see, vibrate on ring and the vibrate on silent. There is no more feature uh, or section like that anymore in here. Also we had the option to have uh, headphone notifications as you can see. If you would tap on headphone safety you could see headphone notifications but now that is actually gone anymore. There is no more section like that. Also, weirdly enough, we now don't have any more the section of airdrop where you could configure the sound when you are receiving an airdrop. That's actually very weird and I don't understand why we don't have this feature anymore. But the new thing is that now we have new keyboard feedback section as you can see 
right over here so keyboard feedback if you're gonna tap on it you can see sound and haptic options so when you're typing you can have sound as well as haptic if you of course toggle these options and also another new feature or new section here is uh, the ring silent mode switch section so ring mode and silent mode in ring mode you hear ringtones and alerts in silent mode you don't hear ringtones and alerts iphone can still play sounds like when you play music or videos these are two new things and this is the ring silent mode switch so play haptics in ringtone and uh, ring mode or in silent mode so that's new of course we also have a bunch of new features in the focus section of the iOS 16 as you can see first one of this is focus status that we can uh, turn on or off and depending on different focuses as well it says when you give an app permission it can share that you have notifications silenced when using focus so that's focus status also while creating a new focus the images or emojis actually look quite different so for example if you tap on the custom you can see these are the emojis and how they look and if you would do it basically on the iOS 15 this is how they would look so you see it is more filled the color is filled while it was not previously with the iOS 15 also another new emoji that we get with the iOS 16 in the focus section is this bicycle emoji that we didn't have previously with the iOS 15 focuses. Also, uh, there's a new pop-up when you're creating a focus. So, well, let's just name this focus something. So, something. So, for example, um, A. Okay, and uh, then you're gonna tap on return next. And as you can see, this is the new pop-up that we are getting with this iOS 16 it says a focus silence notifications you don't want across all your devices share with friends that you have notifications silenced uh, turn on a custom lock screen or home screen page and schedule it to turn on automatically or turn it on from control center so customize focus and now here are the options that you can have for the customization of the focus which is also new and different and so this is how different these focuses are so this was the ios 15 version you could also add people and apps you can of course do that as well in here but uh, also the focus that is home screen lock screen and name and appearances were here well unfortunately that stuff is gone so i don't know why also we have customized screens so for example just like here you can choose a specific lock screen or the screen that you want to be used while a specific focus is being used and turned on that's actually such a cool and very very uh, helpful feature i guess also we have a smart activation option that turns on automatically the focus so automatically turn a focus on at relevant times throughout the day based on signals like your location app usage and more this is how the smart activation looks and if you tap on it you can of course have it enabled we have as well the focus filters as you can see in here so if you tap on the add filter you can add the filters so focus filters help you remove distractions from apps when the focus is on so if you tap on it you can have the app filters that uh, will not be able to actually send you the notifications such as messages mail and other things uh, so you can uh, filter calendars filter specific inboxes or conversations and set tab group uh, and also system filters are appearance so you can tap on uh, different uh, choose different appearances that uh, uh, happen during uh, the uh, focus that you have used or low power mode can also be turned on when you turn on specific focus and last new thing with this uh, focus application is that or the section is that add schedule or automation when you tap on it this is how we had previously and uh, when you tap on this here at schedule this is how it looks now so um unfortunately i like this ios 15 version more because it was more colorful and more enjoyable for the eye but now we have only the specific colors that we have set for this focus and we go with the largest part of this video which is the general settings in here so there are a bunch of new things here as well so if you tap on the about section it is now called ios version as you can see while previously it was called software version with the ios uh, 15. also there's no more parts and service history i don't know why maybe because my phone hasn't uh, got any part replacements while this one has but uh, anyway, this is the uh, parts and service history which says battery service needed while well, we don't have this here anymore. Next in the airplane and hand up section we actually have a new feature which is continuity camera and it is such a cool feature which we of course will test maybe 
uh, in on one of the other videos, but not yet. But it's a very cool thing, and uh, you can actually see the description of uh, this feature, which says, use your iPhone as a webcam for your Mac when both devices are near each other. And you can, of course, see the footage maybe on your screen, how that works, and it is a very, very cool thing. It almost seems unreal. Also, in the iPhone storage section, we actually have different coloring for different sections. So, let me now compare it with the iOS 15. So, as you can see, this is how it looked with the iOS 15 and this is how it looks with the iOS 16. So, apps have the same color almost, but uh, a little bit more reddish color. And also, photos now have a uh, orange color, while they were previously uh, yellow and um, just all the new things you can see the coloring options here and here as you can see this is the side-by-side -side comparison next in the keyboard section we actually have a new auto punctuation uh, section or smart punctuation section it is called like that right over here as you can see which basically allows you to punctuate it uh, automatically in the language and region section there are actually more new features in here so previously with the iOS 15 we had iPhone language uh, section separately but unfortunately that section is now going with the iOS 16 also instead of temperature there is a temperature unit uh, so for example previously we had uh, temperature unit as you can see right over here when you would tap on it you can see uh, these uh, temperature units but now it is actually just the temperature just the name has changed nothing more also a bunch of new options in here as you can see so if you would compare it side by side we actually not only have region calendar and temperature unit by but also measurement system which will now be throughout the entire platform or entire iPhone uh, which I also complained about that there are no uh, specific uh, section for this anymore in the application such as maps but here it is so measure measurement system also first day of week date format and number format and of course we have live text option totally and here select text in images to copy or take action so that's also cool but i don't know why it is specifically in the language and region section getting out of the general now we are moving on with uh, the home screen and here the new thing is search show on home screen so search section which says show on home screen and it's basically this when you see this search option in in your home screen if you uh, disable it you see that it's uh, as it was previously with the iOS 15, but if you enable it, it's now the brand new iOS 16 look. Moving on with the accessibility section, and here if we go to the voiceover section, we now have a completely new section of voiceover recognition, as you can see right over here. If you tap on it, this is this new section. So we have image description, screen recognition, text recognition, and feedback style, which is optional, of course. Also, uh, in this accessibility, if we go to the spoken content, so if we get out of uh, voice or if we go to the spoken content, we actually see uh, the option for the default language, as you can see right over here, as well as we have an option for detect languages that we didn't have previously. And if we go to the pronunciation section, if we tap on the plus icon, we now have the new option of substitutions, no more microphone icon. So we have this substitution. But previously, with the iOS 15, if you go to the accessibility, uh, then spoken content, and then pronunciation, and then plus icon, we had this dictation icon, which is now gone. Now in the touch section of the accessibility, if we go down here, we actually can see a new feature which is prevent lock to end call. So prevent the side button from ending the current call. So when you are in a current call and you accidentally maybe or just intentionally tap on the side button, you can actually enable it so that it will not end the call, which it would do previously. So if you enable that, that's the new feature in here. Next up on the list, we have voice control section of the accessibility and if we go tap uh, on uh, the voice control toggle, there is a set up voice control in here. So you can see here we have set up voice control. But previously, if we would go here with uh, the iOS 15 and we would tap on the voice control, it was a toggle. Well, now it is a section which says set up voice control. So that's just a minor change, but I still decided to include it. Also, there are more vocabulary options. So previously we had just one vocabulary and you can tap plus icon, but now we have a lot of different options here, such as import vocabulary, export vocabulary, and delete all vocabulary. 
Also, there's a completely new section in the accessibility section, which is control nearby devices. And so here is the description of what it does. So control nearby devices allows you to use another device on the same iCloud account from this iPhone. For example, you can start and install media, activate buttons or interact with Siri. So you can enable that as well. Also, in the audio and visual side of uh, this accessibility, if you uh, go down in here, just like this, as you can see, audio visual, we actually have LED flash reloads is now in a separate section. So previously, this is how it would look uh, with the iOS 15, so audio visual, and uh, you can see that we had LED flash for alerts, and it was just a toggle with these options on flash on silent and stuff like that. But now currently, it is a section which says, if you go in here, you can turn it on and flash while unlocked and flash in silent mode. So flash while unlocked, I think this is a new toggle as well. Moving forward with the Siri section in here, and as you can see, Siri pause time section is completely new, as you can see right over here. This is the Siri pause time section, and it says default longer, longest set, how long Siri waits for you to finish speaking. That's actually a very helpful feature, because sometimes Siri thinks that I have finished my sentence, while I haven't really. So, uh, also, spoken responses now has a different optionality in here, or functionality, as you, as you wish. So, this is how it would, would look with the iOS. 15 spoken responses always while silent mode is off and only with hey siri but now we have automatic and prefer spoken responses also announced notifications on speaker is a new thing with the iOS 16 as well which says siri announces your notifications to you over your device's speaker i actually really like that new thing uh, if it is new of course and here we also have a new feature or new section called hang up uh, section and as you can see this is what it means so if you enable this feature you can use hey siri to end phone and facetime calls on iphone 11 or newer devices it's also available on older devices when connected using airpods or siri enabled beats headphones Voice input is proceeded uh, or processed on iPhone and transcripts and call audio are not sent to Apple. And of course in the accessibility shortcut the uh, new feature of controlling nearby devices as you can see right over here is now automatic here as well and you can enable or disable it from the accessibility shortcuts on the triple click of the side button. Getting out of the accessibility section we move on with the Siri and search section. So if you go in here, we have a new thing here with the Siri responses. So this is actually a new view that is with the iOS 16. And if you go in this uh, same section with the iOS uh, 15, this is how it would look. So here it is, uh, Siri responses. And as you can see, this is a completely new view over here. Uh, so uh, yeah, we just don't have always while silent mode is off and all with Hey Siri, but we have automatic and prefer spoken responses. Uh, so <laughs> my Siri just turned on. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's uh, just as we had with the accessibility, so nothing new in here. Also, uh, in the Siri section, we have call hang up option, which we have already discussed as well. And new automatically send messages option is also here. Right over here, uh, this is what it means. So let me read this uh, description. So to send messages quickly without Siri asking you to confirm before sending, turn on automatically send messages. Uh, and we have a whole new section in here, which is a section of before searching. So it says show suggestions and show resends. Next, if we go into the face ID and passcode section, we have a new option here as well, of course. So we're gonna scroll down, we can see lock screen widgets. And so lock screen widgets, which are new, will be only visible if you toggle this option when the face ID or passcode has been entered and the iPhone has already been unlocked. Now another new thing that I unfortunately has not come with my iPhone 10R is the feature that everybody has been waiting for and this is the battery percentage coming back to the iPhone just almost as it was previously so you can of course see the screenshots or uh, the videos uh, right now on your screen but unfortunately this feature has not yet come with the iPhone 10R, iPhone 11 and 13 mini as I know so far. Moving on with the privacy section which is now on the iOS 16 is called privacy and security and we have two new sections in here. First one new section is uh, the section of uh, check uh, safety check feature so let me just simply show you that so here it is safety check and this is what it means 
Uh, so protect your personal safety by staying aware of which people, apps and devices have access to your information. And another one of the new features is uh, the new lockdown mode section as you can see right over here. If you tap on it, this is the description. I'm not going to read it, but you can of course pause the video and read it right now. Moving forward with Wallet and Apple Pay. So here as you can see we also have new options such as online payments section which says use Apple Pay when available. Uh, your safe cards in Safari Autofill will be verified with payment networks for compatibility with Apple Pay. Also another new section here is add orders to Wallet which I have already discussed when discussing the Wallet application and we have order notifications. Next up on the list we have mail application and here we have the new feature of uh, follow-up suggestions as you can see right over here. So this is a new thing and also undo send delay. Undoing a sent uh, email is actually a new thing here with the iOS 16 and uh, I have already discussed that in the previous video uh, where I covered the mail application but so basically this is the send delay that you can have. Uh, so uh, when you uh, send something and you want to undo it after how much time will it be sent uh, really. So that's new. Next in the calendar section we have view, uh, week view starts on today. That's a new section. Next is the notes section and uh, here we have a new option or section of app links as you can see right over here. Suggested app link when comprising or composing co quick note as well as suggested notes with app links or quick notes only or off. Only quick notes containing related links may be suggested when using your iPhone. Moving on with uh, the reminder section and here actually, actually one of the sections is gone. So previously with the iOS 15 we had notifications section as you can see right over here. But unfortunately and unexplainably that feature is gone with the settings of the iOS 16. But another thing that we have here that is new is include due today as you can see right over here so batch count includes due today include both overdue and due today items in batch count. So I don't know how helpful that might be, but that's a new feature nonetheless. Then in messages we have text message forwarding section, which is new here as well. As you can see right over here, we can uh, forward uh, these uh, things on iMac, MacBook and things like that. Just the text messages that we have. Uh, also with a the FaceTime, there is a new thing as well in here, such as for example, live captions, which unfortunately I don't know why, but it has a beta here as well. And this is the description of this feature. Your iPhone will use on-device intelligence to automatically display captions in FaceTime. Accuracy of live captions may vary and should not be relied upon in high-risk or emergency situation. And also another section here new is eye contact which says establish natural eye contact while on FaceTime. That's cool as well. Then we have Safari which is uh, also there's one a new thing here as well which says share across uh, devices a section let me actually uh, show you this so this is how it looks settings for websites and it says share across devices also in the maps section we now have a walking direction so if we go to the directions here as you can see we have walking which was not for some reason with the iOS 15 but something that is gone from the iOS 16 and that was in the iOS 15 are uh, the uh, distances which is actually gone from the maps application itself as well so I don't know why so we now cannot choose in miles and in kilometers just the metrics are not given here as well so distances are gone. But what is not gone and what is new here is allow photo providers to use your photos. As you can see right over here, if you scroll down, you can see this whole new section of allow photo providers to use your photos. So as you can see, if we zoom in, you can read the description. So allow companies that provide photos to maps to use the photos you add to maps in their own products and services. Photos include their locations, but not your identity. If you turn this off, photo providers may no longer use your photos, but this may take a few days to apply. So, I don't know if you could read this, it's just like that. The penultimate application change for this video is in the camera section. And here we have record a stereo sound, as you can see right over here. I don't know, maybe it's because of the difference between uh, the iPhones that I'm comparing, but uh, that might be new with the iOS 16. Also, we have uh, a section of show detected text, as you can see right over here. And another thing is uh, 
uh, prioritize faster shooting just like this in here. I think this was with the iOS 15 as well, but I can't be sure. And the last but not least uh, section in which uh, application we have the setting changes is the books application. In here we have this new view that actually looks pretty cool. This is reading menu position as you can see right over here. This is how it looks left and right. So you can of course uh, choose from those options. But unfortunately, and I don't know why, but we don't have any more the option of full justification not supported for larger font sizes as you can see so i don't know why that feature is gone but it is and lastly in the ios uh, 16 we have show status menu bar as you can see right over here so this is a new feature here show status menu bar or show status bar actually and uh, let's read what it says always display current time battery level and other iphone status info while reading so that's a cool new thing as well and guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you very, very much for watching it. If you like this video, of course, make sure to click like. Also, subscribe down below and watch other videos that I will be posting practically almost every three days until the eventual release of the iOS 16. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!